Two weeks ago I did a poll asking you what experiment you wanted me to do. And you've decided on red cabbage pH indicator. Now since this experiment has been done so many times on YouTube, I've decided to give myself a bit of a challenge to find out if red cabbage could be a replacement for pH paper. Also, it seemed a nice idea not to only try out red cabbage, but also blueberries and processed red cabbage. Welcome to Cube Chemistry, where we will discuss all the elements of the periodic system and also do experiments. And if you like this video and want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Now what is pH? It is a logarithmic scale used to specify the acidity or the basis D of an aqueous solution. Now, what are acid and base solutions? Well, an acid is a substance that can donate a hydrogen ion. Generally speaking, this will be a proton to another substance. Acids have a pH less of 7. Also, an acid would taste sour. But we are doing chemistry, not cooking, so do not lick the spoon to try. Now, what is a base? Well, base substances are substances that, when dissolved in water, have a pH level greater than 7. Taste bitter and feel slippery. Again, do not really test this by tasting. This is why we have pH tests in the first place. Now we do pH testing for many reasons. For instance, to monitor medical conditions for people, food quality and safety, and water quality testing. In my lab, I tend to use pH paper. Now this is a paper that when it is put into a solution will give a certain color and provides that color with a matching number that tells me the acidity or the basicity. So let's get started with the question. We know that pH paper is accurate in determining pH. But could red cabbage be an alternative? This is an experiment and it's cool because it can be done with household items. I got this experiment from the box I purchased a few months ago from Engineered Labs. I already did an unboxing session for this box as well. And if you want one of those too, you can click on the link below in the description and use the code so you can get 10% off and also help this channel. Now for this experiment you will need red cabbage, blueberries, processed red cabbage, water, coffee filter, a bunch of test tubes and some liquids that are acidic or base. I used lemon juice, 80% vinegar, ammonia, liquid soap, sodium hydroxide and baking soda. But these are just random things that I wanted to test. You can do whatever you like. So the safety for this experiment will be simple. You will be working with some hot water, so use caution. We will first prepare all the solutions and will then compare the solutions for each liquid against each other and the pH paper. We will first make the fresh red cabbage, which was, by the time I used it, not so fresh anymore. It could be that that impacted the results, but more about that later. If you have a whole red cabbage, make sure to cut it. I bought mine already cut to save some time. Then, after this, I poured some boiling water with it and let it cool down. This took about an hour to cool down. For the second solution, I first mashed the blueberries and then added the boiling water again. The color of this solution was definitely different and also we need to let the cool this down as well. The third solution was the processed red cabbage. Now, on the package I could see that there was a lot added to the red cabbage, so I decided to clean it up a bit first. I did this since I thought that the additives could have an impact on the tests. So I rinsed the red cabbage from the pot first with some water and then put it in a beaker like before and again poured some boiling water over it and let it cool down. After all these solutions were cooled down it was time to filter out all the waste. In the case of the red cabbage we filtered that off and in the case of the blueberries we filtered off the waste of that too. The solutions of the blueberries was a bit slimy though, so we had to squeeze it through a little bit. So now it's time to look at the fun part and see what the results were going to be. Was red cabbage really as good as pH paper? We will start with the fresh red cabbage solution and pour it into six different test tubes. As you can see, the color is the same at all places. Kind of violet. Now the colors of the red cabbage solutions are somewhat different than the ones from the pH paper. With the pH papers the color looked like this and with the red cabbage they look like this. As you can see the red is the same but all the other colors have a different pH value against it. We will now drop some lemon juice in the first test tube and we can see it starts to turn red. Which indicates a pH from 1 to 3. 
We will then put the 80% vinegar in the second test tube and we can see that it is even more red than the lemon juice. This leads me to believe that the pH of the vinegar is about 2 and the pH of the lemon juice is about 3. Then in test tube number 3 we put ammonia which immediately turns green which indicates a pH of 11 to 13. Looking at the greenness at this point it seems to be more like 11. Now in test tube 4 we put the soap which is pH neutral. Since the color of the neutral substance is violet, the color remains about the same. The pH is estimated between 6 and 8, so I think we can consider it 7. So in test tube number 5 we put our old friend sodium hydroxide, better known as lye. Now this is a heavy base substance. I did not make a liquid first, so I decided to put in the solid immediately into the test tube. It immediately dissolves and then you see something cool happening. First, the substance turns green and then on the lower part it turns yellow. Now the reason that this is turning yellow is because it's even more base on the lower side than it is on the upper side. And that's why the upper side is turning green. After stirring you can see that the sodium hydroxide is now more divided, so the substance remains green. Adding more sodium hydroxide would probably make it yellow. Yellow represents a pH of 14. So I reckon the pH is very much between 13 and 14 here. Now in the sixth and last test tube we will add some baking soda. As soon as we did that you can see that the solution will turn blue. Which means that it has a pH of about 10. Meaning it's a base. Now all these tubes have really nice colors and we have an idea what the pH could be according to this little scale that we had. We will now check it with pH paper. And as you can see the paper, although giving different colors, is showing perfectly similar values. So what we can already say is that this solution of freshish red cabbage and water is useful as a pH indicator. In the same way that the paper is doing its job. So we will now store what is left of the solution for a bonus purpose at the end of the video. So if you want to find out what that is, stay tuned. So now it's time to test the second solution. We cleaned the test tubes and we will fill them with the processed red cabbage solution. Now my hypothesis was that this solution would maybe do worse than the first one since it contained additives. However, we will see shortly that the colors seem to be more bright, for lack of a better word, than the ones from the fresh cabbage. Now maybe, but I did not test this, the reason why the fresh red cabbage is showing fainter colors has to do with the fact that my fresh red cabbage already was fermenting. I leave this for other people to test this out. So while we add the same ingredients to the test tube and trust me there will be no surprise in the colors, let me explain the science behind this. I mean how can a vegetable juice show whether a substance is an acid or a base? So red cabbage contains pigment molecules known as anthocyanins. One property of these molecules is their ability to indicate acidity or basicity of a substance by changing color. And that leads to the scale I showed earlier. This chart should allow you to determine the relative pH of the various substances you test. Now you can see the difference in for instance the first two test tubes much clearer than in the other tubes from the previous red cabbage. So if you did not know any better, it seems that the processed red cabbage in this case is doing better and more precise than the fresh red cabbage. Now this is a fun and also problematic thing about chemistry. In order to find out whether this is really the case, I should test it again and again. For now it is sufficient to say that both work as excellent pH indicators. So now let's look at the third solution, the one of the blueberries. That solution certainly has a different color. Also when adding the liquids we can see that the distinctions are not as big compared to the red cabbage ones. Now you can see these colors are a lot more faint. Also it seems that the solution itself is a little bit more acidic. So when we put in the soap it changed more to the violet color that we would expect earlier. So all in all I think we can safely say that the blueberries, at least in my experiment, did not do better than the fresh red cabbage and the processed red cabbage. However, if you have nothing else at your disposal, it definitely can be used. But now, 
I still have a little bonus. Remember the fresh red cabbage liquid that we set aside? I did something with it. I got printing paper and drenched it into the solution. This made the paper turn slightly blue, meaning that paper apparently is slightly base. But the coolest thing about this paper is what you basically now have created. Because when you dry it, you created your own pH paper. And you did it with nothing more than a vegetable, water and some printing paper. And you can try this out yourself and for sure let me know what the results were. I hope you enjoyed this test and if you like these videos, make sure to subscribe. Also, make sure to fill in the poll on the community page if you want to influence the next element we will be discussing next week. See you later!